This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. We need to talk about a national divorce. Or so says Marjorie Taylor Greene. So says a woman who's already embroiled in her own personal divorce now wants to foist this outcome upon the United States of America. Speaking with hints of of talk of civil war. Civil war, a war, battles. Once again, war talk, battle talk from someone who has never and will never experience combat. Marjorie Taylor Greene, another coward conservative invoking imagery of war and strife and division and secession from the union. I'm going to read this tweet that she put out yesterday. We need a national divorce. We need to separate by red states and blue states and shrink the federal government. Everyone I talk to says this. From the sick and disgusting woke culture issues shoved down our throats to the Democrats' traitorous America last policies, we are done, she says. Several issues here that I want to talk about. First of all, separating by red states and blue states. How does Marjorie Taylor Greene propose we separate by by red states and blue states? Is it states whose whose congressional delegation are mainly red or majority red, if that's even possible, some are split? Is it states like what about a state like Kentucky or Louisiana that has a democrat as governor yet the legislature and the and the the, the delegation to to Congress is conservative what what then marge or is this just a troll i don't believe ideologically it's a troll i believe you think in your in your addled idiot brain that this is a solution secondly how do we deal with the red states that are but leeches on the federal government and on the treasury red states overwhelmingly use more federal resources than blue states. California, for instance, isn't a draw, isn't a net negative on the United States Treasury. Red states, red states, would be in a lot of pain if they were to try to secede and do it on their own. Everyone I talk to says this, she says. Everyone. Well, this would indicate to me you're surrounding yourself with the wrong people, Marge. And it is rich for you to use words like traitorous surrounding Democrats when you are an insurrectionist against the United States of America. You are supporting not only this nonsense, but hundreds of individuals who stormed violently the United States Capitol and attempted to overthrow the United States government by force, by, at the very least, forestalling a certification of electors in the 2020 election. This is... This is a common refrain that you're going to see repeated. Remember that I said this. You're going to see this repeated more and more and more as we get closer to 2024. This is going to be a uh, a refrain that you're, you're hearing not just from idiots like Marjorie Taylor Greene, but more prominent, mainstream Republicans. Because the mainstream of the party is taking its talking points from people like Marjorie Taylor Greene. She is the norm in the Republican Party. The woman who blows up cars in campaign ads with targets on them that say like the Democrat Party or socialism. Violent imagery is the norm now. Donald Trump made that the norm in 2016. And they're running with it. But again, 
One more example of a coward who's never, never had combat, never will see combat, invoking combat, invoking civil war, a national divorce. Ah. It's going to be a long haul between now and November of 2024. What do you think? I'd love to know. Let's talk about this in the comments. Let's, let's, it, listen, I'd love to know if you are one of those people who lives in a, if you're a blue person, if you're a Democrat, a liberal, as someone who leans that way, and you live in a Texas, that, you know, that's the other element of this. She's discounting um, all of the Republicans that live in California. Millions of Republicans who live in California. It's it. You're on your own. You're on your own. It's the same criticism I have for Democrats who say, who cares about Texas? Who cares about the, these other states that are wildly conservative? But what about the Democrats who live there? What about the good, loving, decent human beings who care for one another, who happen to live in a state like my home state that I don't live in anymore, thankfully, uh, Idaho? I know many, many good and decent people who are stuck living there because that's where they're from, that's where their family is, their kids were raised, or they just don't have the money to up and move out of state, which is a costly endeavor. And again, once again, this is another element of this that just came to me. Marjorie Taylor Greene is ignoring that. She's ignoring all of her Republican brethren who live in blue states. She's ready to cut the cord. Divorce. Something she's good at. Uh, again, let's, let's talk about this. Let's mix it up in the comments. We can do so agreeably. I'd love to know if you disagree, if you are one of these let's divorce types, quote unquote. Uh, you can also call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. You can also email me daily at dollamore.com. I appreciate all of you, and if you appreciate me, if you appreciate my work, if I bring you value on a day-to-day -day basis, consider becoming a channel member, helping support the channel and producing what we do. Click the join button, become a channel member for $1.99 a month, or you can navigate your browser over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast, another fantastic way to help support what we're doing here. Follow me on social media. I am at Dollamore just about everywhere. And uh, I appreciate you guys. <clears throat> I have a dentist appointment today, so I got it really early. You might be able to see that I'm tired. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to not leave you hanging since I took President's Day off. And I forgot about the stupid dentist appointment. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.